I'm up at this retreat place that I booked up. I booked two nights there. It's this amazing place with these hot springs and and I just thought that that sounds so good, you know, just to have just a couple days and two nights to just uh, write and think and just, you know, downtime, which normally it is. And the second day came and um, it was all good, but I just really felt like painting. And I, I just that's what I felt like doing. I'm like, well, I'm up here by myself. I don't have to stay here. And they actually refunded me and I left and I came back so I could paint. So this is Nicholas Wilton in Art to Life, and today I'm talking about uh, what what our art making does for us. What what's the driver? What what is this thing that why? What do we get from it? What's the payoff? How does this all work? I'm not entirely sure actually, but I knew that it quenched something in me. I knew that when I when I came back, and especially after I painted, I just felt I felt good. I just felt like I was in it, and the and the work, and it was it was just like my hand was back in it. The way I think about it is that when we're making our art, when we're when we're when we do that, we're we're in a in a strong place. Um, we're curating something. We're creating something. We're making something out of nothing, and it's it's a heroic, uh, it's a powerful place to stand. And and I felt like that's kind of what I needed. I needed to feel that strength. And I think this is a cool way to think about your art making, that, that when you're just kind of struggling or things feel flat, that's what it does. You know, it's like it puts you back in the driver's seat and you're making decisions and, and it's your thing. I think it's, I think it's kind of extraordinary that we can go to do this thing, that when we're doing it, I think we're pretty much the best version of ourselves. You know, like this is what it feels like. This is how I want to feel. And it, it allows you to kind of access your life in a different way. Um, I, I'm not sure. I mean, that's just as far as I got, got with it. But I'm just curious what you, how you think about when you go to your art. Like, what are, you, what are you after? What is it, you know, just getting in motion? Like, that's so powerful. And, and then there's also the surprise part, you know, like, that something's going to happen today. I have no idea. And sometimes it's friggin' amazing. You know, sometimes it's not, but it's cool to have that possibility in the day. So that's another piece of it. Like what I ended up making, it's kind of a mess, but it's strong, it's powerful. And it was like, I needed, I needed this. And it's a fiery kind of approach that we use when to, to, you know, to get in motion and do this art thing. So, yeah, so those are those are my thoughts around it. I think it's a cool way to think about your art making, to complement your life, to not just bring you alive, but just to remind yourself of, of, of what's possible for yourself and to, to be in your power, to be in your strength, to be in the best version of yourself. Let me know what you think about this. Um, I, I just think it's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting. So, you know, how... How do you, what do you, how do you think about your art making and, and when do you find yourself going to it and, and what do you get from making it? I'd be super, super curious to hear. Part of the reason that I was thinking this way, I did a, uh, a really cool podcast episode with an artist who's in Ukraine right now. Um, he's, uh, this is coming out this Wednesday and um, it's, it's powerful. It's a powerful uh, conversation, obviously, um, but He's talking about how the anger that he has um, and, and how that's shifting and, and coming in his create and, and, and firing his creativity, which is fascinating. Anyway, check this episode out. It's, 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 it's extraordinary. Um, it comes out on Wednesday. There's a link down below. You can click on that and um, subscribe. Um, thanks so much for being here. Um, let me know in the comments your thoughts. I'd love to, to read them. Okay, thanks, you guys. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.